What's going on guys? Hope you all are having a good day. Uh, to give you a little bit of an update, a couple days ago I was over at Emilio's and we got the motor pulled back out of the Honduru so we could get the twin disc pulled out of there. And I have it with me right now. Need to get that sent back so they can take a look at it, hopefully get it fixed and we'll get that back on the way to put back into the Honduru. And also I've been working on the Routacy. Yesterday I got the transmission pulled out of it and this is the one that broke first gear. This is my straight cut gear set transmission so i'm gonna have to track down a first gear for this thing get it pulled apart get it fixed but in the meantime i think i'm gonna throw the hatch back together as you guys know i took the clutch out of the hatch and put it into the radice so we can make it to that track day that's my competition twin disc i want to pull it back out of the radice put the clutch back in the hatch and then we have this stock prelude transmission that I'm gonna throw in the hatch for right now. Just something to get it back up and running in case I want to play around with it at all. We did actually just get our first snowfall a couple nights ago, so probably not gonna be able to take any of the cars to the track anymore, but if there's any nice days where we wanna go play on the streets or play in the snow or something like that, I'd like to have the hatch up and going. And then I'm also waiting on the traction bars for Wago. I'm getting some new ones. I'm not gonna reuse this old eBay one. So once that comes in, Wago will be pretty much ready to go. I'm just waiting on that so I can get that mounted, get the radiator mounted, and then I have to figure something out for the shifter, throw the alternator on it, and I could drive Wago around no problem. So still waiting on some parts for Wago, but in the meantime, I also need to uh, give these slicks back to Dan. We borrowed these from him. Thank you, Dan. I need to go over to Brent's and get his wheels uh, get the slicks remounted back onto his wheels so I can give those back to him and Yeah, just got to run a couple errands real quick and then maybe later today. I might come back and get the hatch thrown together but uh, Yeah, we'll see where today goes. I'm gonna head over to Brent's right now. All right guys So I got the wheels from uh, Brent's shop I didn't really film any of it, but I grabbed Dan's wheels and I brought his slicks on the wheels that I was borrowing from Jamie, brought all that stuff over to the tire shop so I could get his slicks remounted on his old wheels and get those back to him. I also got uh, Emilio's clutch shipped out as well and I actually just heard back from Emilio. He's actually going to pick up a new daily today as well and he, actually he already picked it up and he is on his way over to my house right now and we're gonna check out his new daily real quick and then I think, like I said, we're gonna try to spend the rest of the day getting the hatch thrown together. Dang! It's our radio. <laughs> we can't turn it down, bro. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, there it is. Air one. Air one. This is antenna. <laughs> Dang, bro. Another Civic added to the family. Another. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> she got that alarm. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Dude, this thing's pretty clean. It is, bro. I'm surprised. It's just like mine. This is what yours used to look Her like. Dude. Stock. Okay, on video it looks really, it is really clean in the front. But it's not as clean as I thought it was initially. Nah, it, there, it has a, a couple bunch. dings. I saw some, some paint, some little, paint you know, coming off, but. Hey, but for the price though, woo! How much was it? Just, daily, just look at the inside real quick. Just look at the inside, you know, the back seats. It's pretty Damn. clean, dude. The inside is actually really no, clean. The passenger seat, real quick. I gotta show you something. But, um, oh, first lady, let me figure out this. Let me turn this radio off. Just go to the Bluetooth. Hold on, let even says so Civic on there. Damn. Yeah. Now the volume. Put on Bluetooth to you know to like <laughs> let the ears turn rest. off. Oh yeah. Damn. Oh <laughs> shit! Got that rear camera, dog. Came with that. Everything else is stuck. Super stuck. Look how clean these back seats are, bro. It even has the cover in the back. This thing's nice. 1300 bucks. Dang. That's a good deal. It is a good deal. How many miles? It, dude. 276K. Yeah, but that's, that's it's why, a Civic. But yeah, it'll bro, go look, forever. Man, it purrs like a kitten, dude. This smoke. thing's nice. For 1300 bucks. A little bit of oil, like through the valve cover, maybe. What year is this one? It's newer than 98. It's a 99. 99 or 2000, yeah. Because it has these knobs over here. It's a 99, bro. I think these came on what, like the 2000s? Dude, and it has really good tires. Yeah, they're, they're uh, oh. mud and snow, too. She got already ready. Dang, the single it's, cam life. The CX. It's leaking no a little AC bit of oil, but you know, we can fix that. It's nothing. No power steering. We no got a single AC. cam build back on the channel again. Right. <laughs> build this non. 
Yeah, I got a turbo kit. We could throw my old Wago eBay kit on there. <laughs> That'd be sick, dude. Just leave it like that. Just, just make like, it. yeah, like six PSI. Just something to listen to. No, we should probably just leave it yeah, <laughs> for now. Too. You need to get yeah. around. Gets good gas mileage. Look, it yeah. even came with the lips too. It has a front lip and a back lip. That looks like a brand new starter if I ever seen one. Yeah. <laughs> It is actually. I never that starter is brand new. Everything else is all dirty. But shoot, for thirteen hundred bucks, what does yeah, it Yeah, that's get, a really like, good 40 deal. Forty miles to the gallon, probably. probably not that good, but probably high thirties. I mean, the headlights are worth. I mean, at least thirty. Thirty-one. Fresh headlights. Fresh headlights. And she has that lip. No check engine. You know the thing will pass the mission, but nothing. Oh yeah. Stock, stock height, you know, so we can go through some snow. I don't know. I'm excited about Got it. A little more paint fading right here. Yeah, I don't know how it started fading. Here, but... Oh yeah, that's sweet I'm, though. I'm not really worried about the paint. Just... Another EK hatch, dude. I love the hatches. It's a CX like yours too. It's just like mine. Yeah, the CX is the lightest model. She might have to be another future race car one day. I mean, they all eventually turn into a race car, but she'll be a daily for a while. Hell yeah, Emilio's new daily. It's so quiet too. No exhaust. No nothing. Dude, and for 1300 bucks, that's a really good deal. Yeah. Back when I got mine, I paid 3000 for it. That was like six years ago, though. Yeah. I mean, I've been looking on Craigslist, and, you know, you really don't find much for that amount of money. You know? Yeah, they come up every now and then, and though. They, I was actually the first one to go look at it, so I kind of got lucky because there was a lot of people trying to get it. But, yeah, man. The new daily, bro. Now you don't have to drive the Honda everywhere. I know. I now that means the Honda can go full race car. Yep. That's exactly <laughs> what it means. Yep. <laughs> Put it on a diet. Wow. Yeah, Honda is going to go on a big diet here soon. Yeah. Jenny Craig. <laughs> <laughs> the horn works. <laughs> it's really clean for 1300 bucks, dude. It is. That's a good deal. The interior is really nice. And it comes with an alarm, too. A Viper alarm. Just shows how cheap you could build one, honestly, though. See, it's like if I knew what I knew back then, picked one of these up now for 1300 bucks, 1500 bucks, throw a B or an H in there for like a thousand eBay kit. Carpet cleaner. I think he just detailed it because this thing's so clean. Yeah, it's really nice. Usually the first thing I want to do is clean it, but it's like. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I got to find a name for it. I don't know. Let everyone else name it. Everyone in the comments. Give a name for Emilio's new car. It's the little things, bro. Like, people want brand new cars. I just want something old and stock. <laughs> something that doesn't, like, drone out your ears. <laughs> what, she need a new taillight? I don't know if that was the right one or not. I just guessed. Dude, this dude's flexing on you. Sick. Bro, you got side winches and shit. What? It's like an old medic. This thing's I dope. A medic. You should have just bought one of these. I mean, shit. I mean, from where we're from, I you're gonna go get you're gonna get I stuck this winter. I'm not going in the mountains with this, bro. That thing won't get stuck anywhere. <laughs> Look at that thing. Let's see if these are the right ones. Roman done already. Austria, Austria. Austria? Austria? Nice. They made it for the Swiss Army and then they ship somewhere. Oh, nice. It's, it's a pin, it's sweet. Thanks. It's crazy. A pins guard. Yeah, like you can see that three sure. times and you'll win something. P i n z g a u e r. Pins guard. They made about 10,000 one time in 69 for the Swiss Army. Nice. Freaking those places you don't want to go by your fish and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> this thing's sick. Good now. The third one works too. That one works too. Look at that. Oh, yep. Damn. I feel like that one never worked. Mine worked That's before it. I took it off. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. 
Oh shit, who's here, bro? Oh, that's just me. Never mind. <laughs> Flex on me with the EK hat. Damn, who's this over here, dog? He's in pieces. <laughs> this one over here, Miss Purple Rain over here. <laughs> uh, Roman said, "Call it Purple Rain." Well, that song came out. That was the first song that came out. It did. It did. Bro. See if you're a pro Honda transmission. That stain. If I was a pro Honda transmission guy, I would know where all your gears are. these. On the tiny expert in here, that uh, I heard that it. was the transmission. That's it. She's ready to pop. She's ready to pop back up. Then I don't think she's ever been popped before. Oh. Ooh, they never been popped before. They take a little bit more work. <laughs> <laughs> that big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All right, hold on. Come on. I feel like I'm. You got detents? Sure They're out. Bolts. Yeah. Oh, this guy. oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Like something all professional you, on the transmission. That was on your that was on your oh side, dude. Oh my god. I'm on Kyle's there's side no on that sides. one. There's no sides <laughs> to this. There's this side and that side. Uh Kyle's like side and no Roman's side. To a freaking rectangle there are. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been telling you? Going that, home. <laughs> You're not allowed to. Oh, no, oh damn. Oh, 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 man, that was important. Calm down there, buddy. It was on your side. <laughs> <laughs> it actually landed on your side, but we won't talk about that. All right, so we're getting ready to throw this transmission into the hatch. Uh, like I said, this is a bone stock prelude transmission and it didn't have a uh, code on it when we took it apart. Normally they have a sticker uh, right here to say what code the transmission is and then you can go online and look up all the gear ratios for it. So it didn't have that and we had to count some teeth individually to find out what final drive this thing had. And luckily it had a 4.0 final drive already, which is the one we want on these prelude transmissions. There's only the 4.0 and the 4.2 final drive. And we want the longer final drive, which is the 4.0, because I put this uh, fifth gear cuff in, and we're gonna see if that helps hold some more power. I've never actually ran one of these before, but uh, figured we put this one on since it is a stock transmission, and then we'll only have one through four. We won't have fifth gear. It might be cruising kind of high in the RPM going down the highway, but it'll be worth it because what this cuff does is it keeps the gears uh, from coming apart from each other. These two stacks right here, they can't. Uh, pull away from each other and that's what really kind of kills the transmissions under a lot of load They'll start to want to separate this will hold it all together So it helps keep uh, the gears together and then they won't strip We also put in my old LSD as well because this one just had the stock open diff We don't want that don't want any one tire fires, but we got her pretty much put back together now We just have to put the uh, other half of the case on and then we can start putting it back into the hatch All right guys, so my hatch has not been cooperating the last couple days. Um, we left off actually yesterday getting that transmission put together and we didn't film it, but we ended up putting the transmission back together with fifth gear. Uh, as I explained, we had the cuff on there, but for some reason we could not get the case to uh, seat together correctly with the fifth gear cuff on there. For some reason it was holding something just barely too high up and we were looking stuff up online, we were trying everything, we were pulling that thing back apart. I stayed up till like three in the morning messing with it. I couldn't figure it out. And so I just decided to pull the cuff back out of there, threw it back together with the fifth gear, and then of course it went together perfect. And yeah, something might be up with that cuff or we're missing something, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was a really last minute thing, so I wasn't too worried about the cuff. Got it back together and then we put it all together Literally had the hatch on its tires just a little bit ago. Emilio just left. He was helping me as well. But uh, I go to crank it and the motor is completely locked up. I put a wrench on the pulley and she does not spin at all. And now that I remember it, I also told Brent about it. Figured it out right away. Um, we put the competition clutch off the van that was originally on my hatch back onto the hatch. And these H's have a pin that you need to line up on the flywheel. 
and um, Emilio put the flywheel on. I don't want to blame him. He didn't know, but he put the flywheel on, and I don't think B-Series have this. It's like an H-Series thing, and it must have been put on there uh, the wrong way, but long story short, we got it all the way together, and the motor was locked up, and I'm almost 100% sure it's because of that flywheel. So bad news is, you gotta pull it back apart real quick. I'm just gonna stay up and uh, knock it out. At least get the transmission off and get the clutch and flywheel off tonight. I'm not sure if I'll start putting anything back together. It's already like nine o'clock the next day, I'm trying to mess with this thing. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put a video out there for you guys, because it's been like six days since we've uploaded. Like I said, waiting on parts for Wago. I should be getting a track bar for it tomorrow. And yeah, we've just been busy. So I want to at least put something out there show you guys that we run into issues is what it is though we'll get her fixed for sure and hopefully i'll have it back up and running by tomorrow as long as it's just the flywheel and hopefully torquing it down didn't mess anything up because we went pretty hard on it we kept going and going we're like what is going on but yeah wanted to give you guys an update figured i should upload something and then maybe tomorrow the hatch will be all ready to go but uh yeah i'm gonna keep going on this i'm not gonna upload this video for a while once I'm done getting the transmission pulled off, I'll probably update you guys real quick from there, but yeah, it's it's a little frustrating. The hatch has never given me this many issues, especially with the transmissions, but she was fighting me on this one for sure. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated once I get the training off. All right guys, so about 40 minutes later, I got the transmission pulled back out of the hatch, got the flywheel and clutch pulled off as well, and sure enough, the flywheel was not lined up with that pin. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. So this right here is the back of the flywheel. As you can see, there's a hole right here in between these two flywheel bolt holes, and there's a pin on the crank that needs to line up with that hole. And if you look right here, you can see a little bit of an indentation right there. Actually left a pretty good dent in the back of the flywheel because that is where the pin was when that guy was supposed to be over here. So when we went to tighten it down, the pin dug itself into the back of the flywheel right there and then the flywheel was not sitting flush on top of that crank. Then when we put everything together, put the tranny in, and got everything tightened down, it uh, binded up the motor pretty good and locked her up pretty tight. I don't know how we didn't catch that when we were tightening the flywheel down. Like I said, Emilio just hung it up there, and then he had me tighten the flywheel bolts because he didn't want to be responsible for stripping one of them or anything, because if you guys know the Honda flywheel bolts, they love to strip if you're not on there really tight since they're just a 12 point and they don't really have much depth to them. So he had me torque them down, and while I was torquing them, I was going in a star-shaped pattern, and I'd torque them all, and I'd go back to the first one to check it, and it would just keep spinning, and it kept repeating that cycle over and over. I'd torque them all, go back, retorque them, they would all take like two or three more spins, and we were like, what the heck, I thought I stripped all the bolts, and I don't know why I didn't stop to think that that pin wasn't lined up. I think the Radice doesn't even have a pin, if I remember, so yeah. I was kind of used to doing the Radice, honestly. I haven't done my hatch in so long. This is where the pin is at, right down there, and the Radice is actually broke off. So the Radice doesn't matter which way you put it on. I don't know why they have that pin to line it up. It's just from factory, but the hatch definitely still has the pin. The hatch's pin is right there, so that's all it was. She just wasn't lined up. So, got that figured out. All I have to do is uh, put the flywheel and clutch back on and put everything back together again. And then the hatch will be back up and running on a stock transmission for now. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I wanted to throw a quick video together for you guys. Like I said, sorry we haven't posted in the last few days. Just been busy trying to get this thing together. We've been busy with the shop as well. Things are going good with that. So content will definitely be picking up uh, probably the beginning of next month. I really want to start filming more and more, get closer to a uh, video every day as we can. Probably no guarantee on that, but almost for sure every other day. I know we've been slacking the last couple weeks, but it's for a really good reason, guys. So, yeah, definitely more to come. And if I get the hatch together by tomorrow and everything's running good, there's a chance I might take it down to Texas for Cletus and Cars. I know Brent's going with a Ultima, I believe, that he got for free. He's taking that to do the demo drags. And if the hatch is all good to go, I might take it down there to uh, try to run a good time get it down to sea level, and that would be my best chances to run a nine on its current setup if the transmission holds up. But that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. Just wanted to get a video out there, even though we didn't get anything back up and running just yet. Uh, we did get the new car for Emilio, so at least that was pretty entertaining, but you guys know how it is, race car life. Things don't always go as planned. We usually do pretty good at getting them together and running, but every now and then, you'll have one 
that uh, that gets to you. And the hash has definitely been temperamental lately. She's been needing some attention. So I'll get her back up and going in the next couple days for sure. Hopefully by tomorrow. But it's going to be it for tonight, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.